Now, we begin with that report on the dangerous crime wave that's destroying our suburbs. Some residents fear they may have to flee their own communities. They're that desperate to escape the daily threat from local thugs and organised crime rings. Too scared. I'm worried. I haven't seen it as bad any other time. It's not just the burglaries and thefts anymore, it's the physical violence that everybody's so worried about now. It's very dangerous. On Melbourne's outskirts, residents fear they're living in a lawless land. Brazen robberies, stores under repeat attack. The home invasion. Strangers creeping through homes, families living in fear. You feel powerless because you gather things, you save money, you work hard, you, you gather everything, and then somebody will come in and take them away. And the residents so fed up, they're packing up and leaving the West. The moment I sell my house, I'm going to leave. Lisa Patterson is a young mum struggling to make ends meet but still determined to get out of the place she's lived for 11 years. It's definitely taking its toll. I can tell you that. There's always emotions with moving and saying goodbye and everything. But another hard thing is finding a place to move. Ready? Sister-in-law Alicia wants out too. I'm scared to be anywhere by myself with the kids. I, I don't want to walk down the street. I don't want to leave the house. I'm scared to be at home by myself. You really feel strongly about this, don't you? I have no idea. <laughs> there is not one day in the past month that she hasn't called me saying, I'm home alone, come over. Or can we please go out? Can we please do something? I don't feel safe. I hear noises out the back. You can't walk out at night because you don't know who's behind you, whether they're going to rob you, stab you. The Farouk family don't just fear the violence. They felt it firsthand. This is a sliding door that they opened without breaking in, walked into the house, Open the pantry, been through the kitchen, the study, the guest room, and that's the bedroom where we were sleeping, where they woke us up. All this incident within 15 minutes. Masked men invaded their Tarnit home while they were asleep and threatened the family with wooden stakes. They could have done anything in the... I was just worried that they just don't take my kids or hurt my kids or my wife. If I had the option, Yes, I would like to convince my husband to move out of here. It's getting more like a trouble zone. With the Ravenhall prison, with the refugees moving in, it's getting chaotic. But on the streets, the theme continues. They're not worried to confront and hit and bash anyone, you know, they, they don't care. My door's locked, bang, bang, bang. I've got three locks and everything. So, and I never used to do that. I'm in my 60s and wherever it used to be a lovely place, and uh, now you can't walk around after seven o'clock at night. Incidents like this one exacerbate the fear. This is exclusive footage of the gang which held a long knife to the chest of an elderly store owner in Werribee last month. They can be seen throwing items at the security cameras. There's now a community campaign to try and catch the thugs. The victims haven't been able to work since. And meet Harry Singh. He runs his own business out here and he's been robbed four times in one month. Here he is wrestling with one of the burglars. Great news podcast, Hennessy's, Jack Daniel, these talk inside straight away. And put him in the jacket, sort of. Jack, sometimes I don't put in jacket, just show you uh, we are going. You can't <laughs> stop us. Really? That's yeah. so brazen. Yeah. His bottle shop is a soft target for thieves. Sometimes they take their time choosing top shelf liquor. And in this instance, one man appears to show Harry his item of choice. And instead of paying, he just walks out. How does it hurt you? I mean, this is your business. Yeah, it's hard to do a business these days, very hard. Financially? Yeah, how financially, and even you're scared. Your staff scared. Jumped over the counter, stole the cigarettes here. Tanya Feder has put bars across the windows of her family business and CCTV cameras everywhere. We fear for ourselves actually. Um, we kind of when we're inside we check the cameras before we walk out to make sure that it's okay. She had cigarettes stolen in one robbery. This woman though 
$50,000 worth of jewellery was taken from her home. From that day, I'm not able to put my kids to that room for sleep. We are all sleeping in one bedroom. I'm so scared that something could happen in the middle of the night. Commander Russell Barrett oversees policing of Melbourne's northwest. What we're seeing is, is mostly young people uh, involved in, in high-end offending. Some of them have never been involved with criminal activities before. And this is really um, troubling for police. And, and I can understand how the community's afraid and fearful. Police in the West are so determined to keep the offenders out here in check that they've resorted to what you could call a sort of pyjama patrol. They're knocking on doors in the dead of night and pulling these offenders out of bed just to make sure that they're home and abiding by their bail conditions. Knocking on doors and, and waking them up, waking their families up, actually saying, making sure that everyone knows we're watching them, we're monitoring their behaviour. According to Commander Barrett, for a lot of these offenders, it's their first time. Uh, the escalation of offending between doing nothing to committing these serious home invasions is really rapid, something we haven't seen historically in policing. And the statistics reflect community fears. Crimes targeting another person, such as robbery, stalking and assaults, have gotten worse this year. And police are losing the battle against robbers across Victoria and Queensland. But in New South Wales, robberies fell. Sadly, for a lot of these families in Victoria, they feel the West has turned too wild. Vijaya Kedler is moving out. Yes, I actually um, bought a house in uh, North, in Greenvale, because I'm not feeling really comfortable here. So is Lisa Patterson and her partner Brock. Mum Nicole has been researching caravans for the couple so they can leave Werribee for the country. I'm not safe at all. You're willing to move out in a caravan? Yeah. Desperate measures? Very desperate measures. Where will you go? Wherever's safer, really. And their friends aren't far behind. Ash, who's heavily pregnant, says she was punched in the stomach in public by an irate woman just last week. Her partner has had enough of all the police sirens. It is actually really bad, especially when you wake up during the night to sirens outside uh, you walk outside and there's an ambulance, there's three police cars. It's not something to have the kids around. Most of the time when I'm home, the kids don't go outside. Melbourne's West is a growth corridor, but it seems as the population pours in, at the same time, some of it is pouring out. Well, Victoria Police says it's satisfied that it's making good progress with crime in Melbourne's West.